Switch family. It's Tony and Andrea in our laundry room. It's Cubby. not. It's not always this clean. No. I cleaned it. It's never this clean. If I turn the camera around, you would see all the stuff. <laughs> so I'm not gonna turn the camera around. So I don't do the laundry, so I don't know much about it. Why don't you do the laundry? I don't do the laundry, so I don't know Why much. Why don't you do the laundry? I used to do my own laundry when I moved out and stuff. Out? I moved out of my my parents' house. <sighs> I don't know why I don't do it. Do you want me to start doing the laundry? As long as you don't mess stuff up. So I'm going to mess up one load of laundry. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so you don't have to do it? <laughs> so I don't have to do it. Okay. So we switched out our laundry, the uh, detergent uh, we used to use Tide with bleach, just like I think the majority of people use Tide. Or, we used or... a couple different things. Did we? Well, we were couponers, so we didn't pay for laundry detergent, or we got laundry detergent for like a dollar, but rarely paid for laundry detergent. So whatever I could get with a coupon and match with a sale, we used that. So we used all, we used Tide, we used yeah. Arm & Hammer. We had a problem with Purex because you had an allergic reaction to it or something. I think I broke out in hives or something like that. But for the most part, we kind of just switched around. Andrea used to be a crazy couponer. She had a big old binder of all her coupons, and we would go grocery shopping and spend like $4 and get like a whole thing. I think that was kind of what made shopping a little bit harder because we were paying nothing and getting mm -hmm. loads. But now that we're buying quality... It's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. But back to laundry. We switched out because we started seeing all the chemicals that are in the laundry detergent and softener. And that's the stuff that we were putting on our skin. I mean, that's that's what we're wearing. And if you go to, like, uh, Oils 101, it talks about when you drop a, a oil, it'll reach certain parts of your body in a matter of seconds. And the toxins that we're wearing and we're cleaning in our clothes is just absorbing in our skin. So that has uh, affected us. And also, as we switched, our noses have come very sensitive to the things that we used to use. Yeah. I mean, we can't even, we avoid certain aisles at Walmart now because it gives her a headache and it gives me a headache. We can smell people's perfumes and cologne. Too. We went to all these today, and we oh, it's so strong. <laughs> it an older man had some. I don't know if it was Old Spice or some. I'm kind sure it of... wasn't an excessive amount either. It was just like Pungent. so much. You're so aware of it now. Yeah, but Andrew's gonna do some uh, or list some of the chemicals that are in detergents, and this is the main reason why we switch because of the chemicals that are in detergent. So there was a study done, I think, at the University of Washington that um, looked at different very popular uh, household detergents and dryer sheets and air fresheners, and every single one of them had at least one carcinogen. They found dozens of toxins in it, um, maybe not all carcinogens, but dozens of toxins in it that weren't even listed on the label. And they can get away with that because they classify them as a fragrance, and as long as it's you know, all those compounds are listed together and classified as a fragrance, they can just list fragrance on the bottle. But those fragrances, what make people's clothes smell good, um, it's just it's just masking up everything else. But they combine all those chemicals to form that fragrance. And that fragrance is what's toxic to you. Um, and like I said, known to cause cancer, carcinogens. The other, there's like a list of things that are in laundry detergent, so I'm just going to read the list a little bit. Um, cleaning agents, like surfactants, um, they help your laundry detergent to clean your laundry better. Um, they are linked to skin and eye irritation and liver problems. Um, they're toxic to your nerves, they're irritating to your skin, they're hormone disruptors, so not good for your reproductive health. Um, lung cancer and other types of cancers. Um, bad for aquatic life for all you nature lovers. Then aquatic, there's aquatic like fishes. Fish. Oh, I didn't know that. Aquatic. Okay, aquatic. Then there's stabilizers. That's, <laughs> that's my fish. <laughs> stabilizers, which help to keep it stable on your shelf so it will last longer. Um, that's been linked to eye and lung irritation and dermatitis, so irritation in your skin. Bleach. 
Um, we use, you know, we used to use bleach separately, um, and then we have laundry detergent that also had bleach in it. Um, and lots of people clean with bleach. It's a, it's an old standby, right? Um, but it itself can irritate the skin, eyes, lung. Um, it can mix with other wastewater and uh, form toxic chemicals that can cause respiratory issues, liver and kidney damage. Think about if you've ever just gotten straight bleach on your hand. I remember one time my mom, she was trying to clean something and she's like, it wouldn't clean, so I just used straight bleach. She ended up getting third degree burns on her hand. It like burnt the skin off of her hand. It's terrible. Have you seen the commercial, the, the bleach commercial where, where they're talking about if it doesn't smell like bleach, it's not clean? It was just mm -hmm. just recent that they're talking about how you have to it's only clean if you smell like that chemical smell clorox bleach means clean uh brighteners so there's lots of laundry detergents that list that it's a bright they have you know they make your clothes brighter and you, you've seen the the commercials that show the two different laundry detergents side by side and one's brighter than the other those brighteners are actually things that actually sit on your clothes so they reflect and absorb the light better. So it's just a chemical that's sitting sitting on your clothes. Um, and that has been linked to developmental and reproductive effects. Um, and, you know, think about it. Like he said earlier, it's it's laying on your skin. For how many hours a day are you absorbing the, the chemicals off of your clothes through your skin? And then uh, phosphates, that, that's something that they put in detergent to make it more effective for hard water for cleaning and to prevent the dirt that comes off of your clothes from settling back onto the clothes. Um, <clears throat> that has been associated with environmental damage, um, you know, messing up our ecosystems, and it's been shown to be toxic in other animal studies. So, I mean, just in those seven, yeah. is it seven? Seven, it's cancerous. You hear irritation of your eyes, skin, and all of that. And I mean, just in that, I would think would make you want to switch or make you think about what you're putting on your body that eventually absorbs into your body. Because that, that's scary. That's the clothes that we're wearing all day. All oh, day. and sitting in your closet, you know, all yeah. day, and you're breathing it in through your house. And Because from now, we still have because since she was a, a couponer we have a lot of detergent and and we can't even open these cabinets because once you open it it just engulfs the whole area of the smell so when we move out of our you probably apartment need to do it before then yeah to get it out of there i mean you can't smell it if you're just standing here but as soon as i open this cabinet the, the smell just comes out like i can't ever put anything else on this cabinet it's just gonna no. smell like that forever yeah i i, I mean i think it will but so what what should you do instead? So you could make your own laundry detergent. You've seen, mm -hmm. you know, recipes on Pinterest and I've thought about doing that. Um, we Pinterest. Oh Lord. We use Young Living's detergent. It's gonna be backwards, right? No, it'll be forward. You're gonna change it? Yeah. Okay. So this is a small little container and I remember when somebody told me that this was their laundry detergent, I thought they were crazy. I was like, uh, what's that gonna clean? So it says to use half a cup. And if you have a fancy washing machine, like a high efficiency washing machine, like I don't have because we have the ones that we got when we got married, when we got married <laughs> then you use a fourth of a cup. So this thing lasts forever. And since I'm so frugal. I'm and a little doubting. A little doubting. Yeah, maybe. This is my second. Yeah. This is my second one in a year. Yeah. Because we, I think that was one of the first things that we got with our ER yeah. order was, and it was hard for her to to buy it because of the price. It's around what forty dollars or no? This is like twenty, I thought. Well, I don't it, know. We'll it's look. around there. We'll look for it. And you. the fact that it was like we have yeah. to spend that much when she was getting laundry detergent for almost next to nothing. So it says you can get 64 loads if you have a high efficiency um, washing machine. So that means I should be able to get 32, right? I'm at 26 because I count them with my little hash marks. I'm at 26 right now and I still have about half left. So I'm definitely gonna get more than 32, which I'm really excited about. <laughs> but I was just curious because the other ones seemed to last so long. I was like, I wonder how many loads I'm actually getting out of this. And I use half a cup. The other thing that we switched out is 
um, dryer sheets. Those are also, between laundry detergent and dryer sheets, one of the most toxic things in your house. So we switch to these wool dryer balls, which often get lost, but we find them. In the eventually. comments, someone asked about dryer balls, and I've always said that a way to an oiler's heart is be the one to find all of them. All of them. Or to have all of them in your dryer at the same time. That's like gold. So I guess these are supposed to reduce static clean, clean mm -hmm. but I find that we still have a lot of static. We still have static. But I did hear that a way that you can reduce that is to clip little safety pins into the dryer ball. And I haven't tried that yet. Clip little safety pins in and, you know, let them hang out on here and go around in your dryer. And that's supposed to reduce static clean. Really? So we should try and see you know, if that well. helps. Um, but a lot of people like dryer sheets because the smell. The fragrance in it. The fragrance, the chemicals. So instead, we use essential oil. I like to use lemongrass because I think it smells fresh, but I've also used lavender because it smells yeah. really good on your clothes. But we don't stink. Let me see. Sometimes, if I'm doing something, I'll catch a whiff of uh, lemongrass. the lemongrass. And it's, it's not startling, but I'm like... What is that? And then I realize what it is, and it smells so good. Um, other people, other things that people use are like dryer softener, and you don't have to use dryer softener because you could replace your softener with vinegar, and it's going to give you the same effect. What's dryer soft? It's the stuff that you pour in to make your clothes soft. Oh. But vinegar does the same thing. No, I did not know that. Learn something today. Yes, he does. But. It's a very simple video because it's a very simple switch. Um, it's very simple to realize all the chemicals that are make up that white powder or that blue liquid because it's just take a big old whiff of it. Why do you think there's so many warnings on dryer soft or dryer sheets? Why is there so many warnings on uh, the detergent? It's because it's full of chemicals. And the stuff that we use. It's all plant based. It's all plant based. They say that it's all plant based. I can't pronounce all of these, but. Well, because they're scientific names. Yeah. It's got jade lemon peel in it, bergamot, clove, lemon peel, cinnamon bark oil, eucalyptus, rosemary, water, some glycerin, some salt. Very simple. Simple <laughs> ingredients. And I think that's what we need to get back to, is those simple ingredients. Because, and our clothes smell good. Yeah. They don't... When you smell somebody and you're like, oh, I like the smell of their clothes, you're, you're liking the smell of their detergent, but ours don't have that overly chemically smell. They, they smell fresh and clean. Mm -hmm. um, and then when I put them in with the lemongrass, they get that hint of, of freshness from the lemongrass. Yes. But they're Very, clean. Yeah. And they, it takes the stains out, too. We... We haven't had a problem with stains as well. And if we do, we can use our Thieves Cleaner yeah. to scrub the stains out. My biggest thing now is the baking soda in Thieves. I love that paste. I've been finding uh, places to use it. Like when I started cleaning the, uh, what is this, the dryer, there was a big uh, orange stain, not orange, purple stain. I don't know what was on the dryer and got wet and the ink sat in there. I've We've used everything to get it out except for the thieves and then with the thieves I made that little paste put it on there sit, let it sit there for not even a minute and then took a toothbrush and scrub it and it came right out I'll put some pictures of what it looked like but it's so much easier to get all that junk out of out of your life and out of your household and when we move out we're gonna try to make our new house as chemical free as possible and we're excited for that and and you're going to come along with us when we do it. But um, I'd like to thank, of all the, thank all the people that have commented on our post and had uh, nice things to say. And we're grateful. And we want this to be a community. We want this our, our face, Facebook page and the YouTube page to be somewhere we can come ask questions and not worry about people looking down upon you or, or think that you're dumb for doing this. Or if you we're have questions, make, we're gonna make mistakes. Yeah, too, so. we'll make mistakes, and uh, we have friends and that will help us make 
steer us to the right decisions and but if you have don't have anybody like that let us be that person for you let us be able to to help you transition and with the young living products yes we're distributors but if uh someone shared this video for you and they sell young living go to them bless them bless them for it uh, if, if you want to try out the detergent and and they shared that video this video to you bless them go to them and uh, to ask questions or to order from them but if not you can always message us and we can help you out with that but we'd like to thank you for helping support our family in this new adventure and what we do and we're just we're just grateful for them do you have anything to say let's do some laundry let's watch andrea do some laundry <laughs> i'll help you'll help I'll you'll help. videotape but i'm helping <laughs> Thanks guys. <laughs>